hello everyone hope you all are doing fine and today i'm going to show you how to add lighting to our project okay first of all i need to change our 3d object because uh, it's a little bit complex for this uh, demonstration and uh, i'm going to use a rectangle instead of our current 3d object okay i already have vertex information for a rectangle so i'm going to copy and paste it here okay now i copied a uh, vertex new vertex information uh, as you can see we have six vertices you may wonder why why we have six vertices for a rectangle because rectangle only has four vertices the thing is if you uh, look this uh, gl draw arrays we always render triangles so we have to render triangles only so what i'm what i have done here i have divided the rectangle into two triangles and those two triangles are here and that's why we have six vertices okay other thing is uh, you can see here we have another set of values here earlier we had only position and a color information now we have normal vector information also normal vector is a vector that is perpendicular to a plane so what is vertex normal because vertex doesn't have a length or width so it doesn't have a surface so how can you calculate normal vector to a vertex actually what we have done here we have calculated vertex normal of a triangle that the vertex belongs to so we use that vertex normal for all three vertices of the triangle okay to support this uh, normal vector information we have to enable another vertex attribute so i'm going to do that i'm going to change this one to two and we have now nine values so we need to change this and we have 24 bytes offset to this normal vector information and then we only have six vertices okay let's try this nice now we have our rectangle okay now we need to update our shader programs with light calculations okay first uh, let's update our vertex shader first we need to add out variable for uh, vertex normal and then we need another out variable for light direction we do actual light calculation in fragment shader so we need to pass those information to fragment sh shader that's why we add those out variables then we need to calculate our light direction and vertex normal here first of all we need to uh, define our light position so i'm going to define a light position it's a vector so it's a little bit above our center point and then i need to get this part into another variable so it's a vec4 vertex position equals this and we can put a vertex position here okay nothing changed and then we need then we can calculate our vertex normal so vertex normal equals 
our model matrix multiplied by with four normal vector and um, since vertex normal is a uh, vec3 type we have to convert this uh, result into vec3 type we can use x y z component to do that and then we need to calculate light direction so light direction equals light position minus vertex position since vertex position is uh, with four type we can use xyz component okay now let's update our fragment shader first of all we need to get uh, vertex normal and light direction so we can add input attributes here vertex normal and light direction okay now uh, we need to define our light color so let's uh, add the vector 3 variable light color equals I'm uh, use, using uh, white uh, light here okay and then we need to normalize our vectors first I am going to normalize normal vector so I am going to define another variable for normal vector and I call normalize function normalize and I pass vertex normal okay I do the same for light direction with three light vector normalize light direction okay now we should calculate dot product of those vectors so I'm going to add variable float dot product equals dot normal vector and light vector okay now we need to uh, calculate our brightness float brightness actually the dot product is the brightness but uh, it may result a minus value so we need to clamp it to zero if it is negative so i use max function here okay then we need to calculate our uh, surface color we call it diffuse color so i am going to add another variable diffuse and we can calculate it uh, brightness multiplied by our light color okay and now what we need to do is we need to add it to the final color value so we do make four type diffuse and we need to multiply it by actual surface color okay let's try this okay something wrong let's check again okay i have forgot to add our normal vertex attribute so let's add it in vec3 normal okay let's try this so now as you can see our light is working so we have the capability of rendering 3d objects with lights okay thanks for watching